Thank you for staying with us. The Black Photographers Collective is presenting their upcoming photography volume titled African American Photographers Annual 2020 with the theme focused on community. Joining us now to tell us more is the Executive Vice President of the Black Photographers Collective, Nat Nichols. Nat, so glad to have you here today. Nice to be here. Yes, so tell us about this um, event that we have coming up. It sounds really interesting. I love photography, even though I'm not a photographer. Hopefully we can change that. Yeah. You have an interest in art. Yes. The Black Photographers Collective is having their opening event, and that's a basically it's almost like a, it is a potluck event where we're bringing photographers of varied levels to meet us in Central Park at 110th and Lenox, and it's an opportunity to meet and greet experienced photographers, film and digital, from um, many many years past to the, to the present while we develop our new annual, which is a, a program about f photography for the black community. That's amazing. So it, you don't have to be an experienced photographer. If you have a love for the field, you can come out and meet with others in the, in the field? That is correct. In fact, we have a variety of individuals who are very experienced to individuals who are novices who want to basically get into the field and more importantly they would like to progress because there's really not an opportunity for many individuals to do that. Mm -hmm. So what's the event going to look like? I know it's going to be out in Central Park but what's going to be happening at the event? Are we, is there going to be chances for you to like everyone to take photos while they're there? Are they going to be displaying some of their work? We will be displaying examples from our upcoming annual uh, which is known as the African American Photography Annual 2020. Uh, so we will have examples from that annual. We will have a photo. We will have a photo collector who will be explaining the advantages of collecting art. We'll have an individual who basically will be talking about the ability to handle art. Most people aren't aware of that fact. You'll have an opportunity to meet some of the individuals who are part of the original organization that we are based upon, known as the Black Photographers Annual. And that was the original organization, and that was the original annual that was published from 1973 to 1980. We're and so now it's been revamped. That's right. We're picking up where they left off. Okay. We're adding a new perspective to it, um, new techniques, new photography, new issues that are relevant to the population. Mm -hmm. uh, the annual, when the original annual was one of the first, in fact, it was the first annual that basically showed black photography art in a positive environment. So I'm guessing that's the mission behind the organization. That's part of the mission. The other part is to create an educational and, and entrepreneurial component. We are applying for a 501c3 as an education and arts uh, nonprofit. And we were talking about that before the show. Is that something that you're trying to offer to the youth uh, to make sure that, the, not just the youth, but Correct. just to the community as a whole, to appreciate uh, this artwork? To appreciate and basically to take it a step further. There are many opportunities out there that individuals are just not able to capitalize on because they either don't know or the general public has a perspective and they don't really see many photographers of color to be competent enough to do the type of work. And uh, we want, we're looking to change that. Excellent. So why the theme community for this event? Well, let's go back to the original organization, which uh, was the Kamonye Workshop. Kamonye in the Kenyan Kiku language means community. So they were a, an organization of 15 photographers who were mentored by Roy de Carava, um, Langston Hughes, Henri Cartier-Bresson, among others, and they developed the first volume of art quality collectible art that showed the black community in a light that was not really seen. There were perspectives that were out there and made it possible for individuals, institutions, and others to hold, collect, obtain art, purchase them from the original artists. And that publication ceased in 1980. In, in 2016, it was, pers it was determined that we should, re we should basically re revisit this and update this. So we created the organization and uh, we're looking to bring out our first volume next year. It, it sounds wonderful and the event itself sounds like it's going to be great. I mean Central Park is a beautiful location of course to have it. Um, is this going to be a free event? Who's invited to come? It is a free event, open to all. It's a potluck event. What we mean by that is we're asking you to basically bring a dish, sit down, uh, 
work with your peers, exchange food, exchange knowledge, network, meet some of the older established photographers, some of them are in their 80s, but even though we're talking, we're in a digital age, there's a lot of information, in fact, all of the information lies back with the early generation. And it's important for people to realize who their mentors are. Now, who, what are some of the photography that we're going to be seeing at the event? You could just talk about some of the artwork and how, you know, what, how the artists were inspired in the work that we're going to be seeing at the event that day. We have artists. Uh, we have artists from showing work from the 1960s to the present. We have artists who are film-based. We have artists who are digitally based. We have artists who have interests in, that are contemporary interests and other things that would really resonate with the rest of the community. Uh, that sounds great. And I see a lot of black and white um, inspired photos here. The material is black and white because traditionally photography was black and white. More importantly, color has a tendency to just get in the way. Mm. When you look at a black and white photograph, you are able to really get into the soul and texture of the artwork. No, that's, a, that's very beautiful, and it's so funny because everything, um, when you see photos, especially with our generation, it's like, oh, you know, we're trying to edit it ourselves, we're trying to add more color, we're trying to make it more bright, but you say sometimes black and white is just a simple way to go. That is correct, and you're looking for a piece of, or, a piece of work that when you see it, you're captivated. In fact, if your eyes can't move away from the artwork, it works. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Nat, for telling us about this. I know the event, the African American Photographers Annual 2020, is taking place on Saturday, October 12th, from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. at Central Park, located at the corner of 110th Street and Lenox Avenue. For more information on the Black Photographers Collective, you can visit their website at blackphotographerscollective2020.com. And you can also visit their Facebook at Black Photo Collective or Instagram at Black Photo Collective 2020. Nat, thank you so much again for joining us. Really appreciate it. Don't go anywhere. More open after this.